Ivana Holubtsova starts her day at a local gym in Sumy, Ukraine. A powerlifting professional, she works here as a personal trainer. When she's not at work, she spends a large chunk of her time and money on the city streets, feeding over 50 stray dogs. There you go, Shurik, there you go, jump in, look what tasty stuff I brought. It all started when I witnessed a car hit a dog in the street. I had to help because I was right there. I took it to a vet hospital and things kind of went from there. Animals just came into my life and now we have this bond that I think is not going anywhere, ever. Who's your big boy? Who's such a good boy? Your mama's boy, that's right. She loves when he's being petted. Kolubtsova feeds the dogs, makes sure they're vaccinated, neutered or spayed, and attends to their injuries. This dog, he was hit by a car and bitten by a tick. We treated him properly, he went through several surgeries, he had a bad fracture. I end up doing almost everything by myself. It's impossible to keep taking animals to vets. It's both very pricey and I just don't have enough time. So I sort of turned into a vet myself. Mushka, you are a star! And Darik is one as well! And you'll be famous too! You'll be as famous as Madonna! Darik, his owners just threw him out. At the beginning of the war, he just ended up on the streets, like many others like him. Kolubtsova says the war has caused the number of stray animals to double. I saw some that looked just like skeletons, skeletons running around. They haven't been fed for weeks, it seems, so I had to start feeding them as well. And that's on top of me going to the old metal factory that's been shut off, but it's still home to some two dozen stray animals. They were left on the street, someone needs to feed them. I do what I can afford, bones, chicken meat, the cheapest I can find. Kolubtsova spends more than half her salary on feeding the animals. Every day after work, she feeds the ones that have become dependent on her care. I fed them while the city was shelled too. You can't explain to dogs that it's dangerous here. I would arrive here, the shelling, the dogs would follow me every step and bark, it was all so stressful for them. I biked, it was tough, biking on ice and snow without a car. It was tiring, it was slow. My dream is to get a car, the simplest one there is, to drive it around town and feed the dogs. Despite the challenges, Kolubtsova mounts her bike every day and makes her rounds again. For Alena Adamenko in Suma, Ukraine, NRI's VOA News.